Okay, let's calculate the ending balance of inventory for Julie and Company, assuming that it uses LIFO. So here's the information we have on the screen. To the left of my mouse, we started off on March 1st with 30 units at $5. Then we purchased 15 units at $4 on March 3rd. And on March 9th, we had a sale. We sold 25 units at $8. Okay, now, LIFO means last one in is the first one out. So down here I've said that means the last one in is the first one that is sold. Now, if that's the case, then of those 25 units, we sold all of the 15, and then we needed to go 10 more units more, so we sold another 10 out of beginning inventory. So since ending inventory is 20 and beginning is 30, we know that all of those 20 units right, came, that are left were the ones that we're assuming were also available in beginning inventory. So I'm going to call this the LIFO layer, right? And we only have one layer. Um, and what I mean by that is we only had to go to uh, one purchase or beginning inventory record to figure out how many we had left. If by chance there was multiple purchases and we didn't have 20 in each, we would have to go backwards until we came up with all 20. So 20 times $5 uh, would be our extended LIFO. Okay, so that's really all there is here to, to, to determine the ending balance for LIFO. It would have been $100. Now let's make one quick assumption. Let's assume that the March 9th sale was only for 10 units, just so we can follow this. Then we would have had 35 units in ending inventory. So what that would have meant is of those 35 units, the 30 we'd have in beginning were left, and we would have to consider the next layer. I'm going to call this, and this would come out of the March 3rd purchase. Now, this is going to get overridden because I didn't make the column wide enough, but here, let me move that over here. Okay, so if we do this, um, and we had 35 units. I know that we've used all of those 30, so I've got to take five units out of what's left, out of those 15. So that would be my five units. And the purchase of those five units, the cost of that was $4 each, so I would extend that over, right, by multiplying the five units times the four, and I'd get $20. Now let me slide up. So if this were the case, our LIFO ending inventory would have been calculated as the total, you know, 150 plus the 20 or $170. So you see how it's a layer approach, and hopefully, this second version where I've changed the facts so that we assume they only sold 10, you can see how you have to create it in a layer effect. And, you know, this layer essentially came from beginning inventory. Okay. All right, everyone. I hope you found that helpful.